The Gulf Cooperation Council Rail Project is a very ambitious attempt to connect the six member states with a railway running the length of the Arabian Peninsula from Kuwait via Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates to Oman over challenging terrain. There will be either a loop or branches to link to Bahrain and Qatar. In this video, we are going to discuss why the $250 billion Gulf Railway ended in failure. The video is going to be amazing so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Only Saudi Arabia, of the above states, has any experience in constructing and operating heavy railways and that experience is fairly limited. Since they first opened in 1825, railways have become central to human existence. The role they play in nation building, as well as extending global reach, cannot be overstated. Each of the six GCC member states is responsible for implementing the portion of the project that lies within its territory and will construct its own railway lines in branches, stations, and free terminals. The cost will be shared by the six countries in proportion to the length of the rail network in each country. As a result, the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia will spend the most on the project, followed by Oman, Qatar, Kuwait, and Bahrain. The project has met hurdles on account of challenges with the financing of the project exacerbated by low oil prices and lack of alignment of the interests of the six states involved. Conceived in 2009, the GCC Railway Plan recognized the need to reduce Gulf reliance on oil and create efficient public transport and freight systems to support Gulf nations' plans for growth and development over the next decade. The project was originally expected to be completed in 2018. To reach the initial goal, Qatar's participation in the railway venture was reconfirmed at the 37th GCC Summit held in Bahrain in 2016. Qatar earmarked an additional investment of US$74 billion to develop cargo transportation at its Hamad port, the country's main seaport. But GCC financial challenges, including US$260 billion in loss resulting from an oil price collapse between 2014 and 2015, and the subsequent failure of the market to recover, delayed infrastructure spending on the Gulf Railway project. Oman earmarked funding for a 375 km national rail network to transport minerals from Dofar on the border with Saudi Arabia to Port Dugham on the Arabian Sea, which would have been interoperable with the GCC Railway by 2018. A second major rift in the GCC Railway project came when Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and Bahrain imposed a blockade on Qatar for taking independent foreign policy stances in 2017. The blockade against Qatar changed the GCC railway designs to link Kuwait City to Danum in eastern Saudi Arabia and Danum to Qatar through the Salwa Canal. New design plans for the GCC railway will link Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and Oman in the first phase, which is expected to be finalized between 2021 and 2023. The second phase will connect Kuwait and Bahrain to other GCC states in 2025. The updated US$15 billion railway project, which is estimated to really cost US$250 billion, including the integrated national railways, will facilitate trade through a 2,117 km rail network and generate 80,000 jobs. Saudi Arabia's economy will face a 6.8% contraction this year alone. This puts the future of the planned high-speed railway at risk. The GCC will continue to serve as a trade hub to meet the needs of the region's rapidly growing population and as an emerging market in which the potential for railways is strong. Like all other GCC states, Qatar suffers from low oil prices, but the country exports gas from its giant dome field and has created a more diversified economy since the blockade was imposed. According to the IMF, Qatar's economy remains robust, which means that its exclusion from the GCC railway project could be a loss for the rest of the region. Qatar trades with Oman as well, a country whose railway network will span 2,144 kilometers to connect three deep seaports in Oman with other industrial areas in GCC countries. Qatar Oman trade volume increased by 240% in 2018. These realities show that there is a great deal of room to enhance intra GCC trade. The GCC depends on imports to meet consumption and investment needs. 
far exceeding its non-oil exports, which show a balance in constant deficit. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.